Hey, my Aries. This is for Aries singles for the week of December 7th through 13th. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If this reading doesn't resonate for you guys, go ahead and check out your Moon and Rising sign, okay? Still doesn't resonate? Um, come see me at pinkarianjim.com. Set up a reading, a personal reading, and we'll go from there. You guys, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons for me. And, um, you know, when you like the video, it can, it'll circulate. So, you know, a lot of people will get a chance to see it, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started here. See what your options in love are. Aries options in love. What we got going on for my Aries? Aries. Mm-hmm. Huh. You you've really got a Scorpio that's hot for you. This is a soulmate as well. Um, this person, you know, they just think you are the end all be all. They feel like they're meant to be with you, that y'all are meant to be together. They see you as very strong, very powerful. Um, you know, know what it is that you want out of life. They also feel like you're, <laughs> you're controlling, um, but they like that. Because I feel like this person is used to, um, you know, getting away with certain things and you don't stand for that crap. That's how they see you. You guys may have been childhood sweethearts. You may have grown up together. You may have dated before. Or this person just sees you as somebody that's very a familiar, familiar spirit to them. Like they feel like they know you without even really, you know, knowing you for real. You're their wish fulfillment. They think about you all the time. This is very strong. It's like they're all around you. This is Scorpio, um, Pisces, Pisces kind of energy around you. And then you may have two different individuals here. Um, one new and one from your past That's, that has their eye on you. They have their eye on you here. Yeah, you have a Pisces individual that has their eye on you. They have not, they probably haven't even told you or even, you know, alluded to the fact that they have these feelings for you. But it's something about this person that is, um, mm, mm. I don't want to say not right, but I feel like they're probably, I just get the feeling they're not all there. I feel like they may be a little infatuated with you. And I think you know of this person because you're on guard where they're concerned. You're very much on guard where they're concerned. Um, I think you know about the obsessive tendencies with um, with this individual. I don't really see you giving them a chance. As far as a person that's from your past, the Scorpio Aries energy, Aries like you, um, I don't know if you're, I think you're so focused right now because you're not really, the person from your past, you're not, you have no idea that this person is thinking this heavily about you and committing to you and feeling like you're their soulmate and feeling like you guys belong together. I feel like at this point, you don't have a clue as to 
how this person is truly feeling about you, the level of commitment that they want with you. So you currently have your back turned to this. But the person from your past, that is your mate. That is your mate. I feel like this is this is somebody that that um, could have potentially been a life partner for you. Could potentially be a life partner for for you. Very deep feelings here. Very deep love. Very deep affection. There's marriage for some of you. Some of you are getting married. Some of you have um, a, a stalker. Somebody that's, that's harassing you. That you can't, you, you're having a hard time getting away from or have had a hard time getting away from. Because you're having to be firm with them and really state what it is um, and be clear with them. So you're so focused on getting this person like out of your life, you know, in a in a in a healthy state like position between the two of you that you have no clue what's going on over here with this person um, that feels like, you know, you are there everything. OK, so again, we have um, we have Pisces, we have Aries like you and we have Scorpio energy and we could possibly have an air sign here. But, you know, this energy right here, I feel like it's you. You probably have air, um, air in your chart heavily or either this is just a position that you're having to take to get your point across to this person. Like, you know, ain't nothing, you know, leave me alone kind of thing. Standing your ground because you have to draw that line that put that barrier there, um, you know, to shield yourself. Okay, so Aries, that's that's what you have as far as options are concerned for December seventh through the thirteenth, and I'll be speaking with you soon.